will continue with page 14 nedisa you need not fear lady the having any of these lots so she says do not fear that you have to face these lots these six lots whom she mentioned they have acquainted me with their determinations acquainted means informed me they have informed me with their decisions determinations means decisions so learn the names of these suitors those who are uh, those whose names nerissa had mentioned sometimes they will ask you who are the suitors came to bu porsia which is indeed to return to their home so they have informed me about their decisions what is their decision to return their home and to trouble you with no more suit and they will not be troubling you with their proposals unless you may be won by some other sort than your father's imposition imposition means the conditions they want to try out some other method in winning you rather than the condition that is laid by your father depending on the casket so this casket choosing of the casket they did not want to do because of the conditions laid by the father porcia if i live to be as old as sibilla sibilla is sibyl of cume and she, in the roman mythology we see god apollo had given her a blessing that she would live as many as the grain of sand she could hold in her hand so that is a blessing she got so it is uh, mythologically said that she is the oldest woman because she lived so many years as many as the grains of sand she could hold in her hand i'll die as chaste as diana diana is the goddess of virginity so chaste means unmarried so she says though she will live as old as sibilla and die without marrying like diana unless i be obtained by the manner of my father's will so till now she had a confusion she had a doubt whether the suitors the right suitor will choose the casket or not right casket or not but here now she is very confident and when she came to know that six of the suitors not even willing to make an attempt to choose the caskets so therefore she says now i i am very confident i will not be choosing anyone unless by the method devised by the father i am glad this parcel of wooers are so reasonable she is telling i am so happy that these suitors these crowd of suitors are very reasonable for there is no not one among them but i dot on their very absence that means not even one of them are there that i feel bad that they are leaving that means she did not like any one of them and i pray god grant them a fair departure so she is praying that god would grant them a, a good departure nerissa do you remember lady in your father's time a venetian a scholar and a soldier that came hither in company of marquis montferrat so she is asking do you remember a lady during your father's uh, do, lady here is porcia she is calling out addressing her as lady and asking do you remember in your father's time a venetian a scholar and a soldier so she is mentioning about basanio basanio is a venetian of course but he is not a scholar or a soldier she is just lying about it that came hither came here hither means here in company of marquis of montferrat marquis of montferrat is a title given to italian men for some uh, courageous work so here title of italian noble man marquis of montferrat so with him this venetian had come along porcia yes yes it was basanio she even remembers the name she says that it was basanio as i think so was he called that is the way he was called there is a true madam he of all the men that ever my foolish eyes looked upon was the best deserving a fair lady so according to me uh, he is the best man who would receive a good lady in his life he should have get a lady a very good lady as his wife that's what he says 
Hoshia, I remember him well and I remember him worthy of thy praise. And also she is happy that Hoshia is praising him. Till now whomever she had mentioned, Hoshia uh, was not happy with them. But last when she mentioned not even the name, she only just mentioned who he is, from where he is. And Hoshia recognizes him as Bassanio and he is, she is happy that she is praising him. Enter a servant. By, while they were talking, a servant comes and she asks him, How now? What news? What news did you bring? Servant, the four strangers seek for you, madam, to take their leave. The four strangers, here are the suitors. They have come to bid farewell. Say goodbye. And there is a forerunner come from the fifth, a fifth one. So among the sixth one, six suitors, Four of them had come to say farewell to her and from the fifth one, one foreigner means a messenger has come from a fifth one who is that prince of Morocco who brings word the prince his master will be here tonight. So he brings a message that his master, so this servant's master who is that prince of Morocco, he will be there, he is reaching there that night. Portia. If I could bid the fifth welcome with so good heart as I can bid the other four farewell. So if I can welcome the fifth one, just like I can say goodbye to the others, I should be glad of his, I will be happy to welcome him. If he have the condition of a saint, if he is having the appearance of a saint and the complexion of a devil, so he has the character of a saint and the complexion, his appearance of a devil. I had rather he should shrive me than by me. So he should listen to my confession of sins or mistakes rather, not, rather than making me his wife. Come Neriza, Sirah, go before. So she is calling Neriza along with her and asking the servant to go before them. Whilst we shut the gate upon one wooer, another knocks at the door. So she says, while we close the door upon one suitor, another so one knocks at the door. So that shows that she was very famous, very fair, very rich, very noble lady that people from all over the world wants to marry her and they are flocking to her. So that's what we understand from it. With this, Act 1, Scene 2 comes to an end.